Hey everyone, I'm Brian. You're watching the Build a Place channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a bracket to hold your uh, your camera, your security camera. So uh, it's a no drill in the siding technique. I don't didn't want to put any holes in my new siding I just put in, so I made a bracket that secures to the wall and comes out, and then you can mount your your camera to it. It's uh, not going to go anywhere you put a good bit of weight on it it's not going to move very much it'll flex just a little bit as you can see but maybe in the wind it'll move a little bit but it's pretty much stationary so let's get started making this bracket Okay, I'm going to start with these four pieces of aluminum. This material is it's aluminum alloy. It's 50-52 um, aluminum. So I cut them to two inches by seven inches. So I want to start off marking the, the radius end where the camera mount is going to go. So I'll just, that's going to be one inch from the from the edge. I probably just mark all of them while I'm doing it, do everything at one time. Since it'll be faster, I'll skip skip through it pretty quick. And then one inch from the outer edge. I'm going to go to just, I'm just going to make the one. I'm not going to do, I'll put a prick mark for the center because I'm going to put a radius. This is going to be the side the camera is actually going to mount on. So I'm going to have a, a radius on there. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to have holes that are half inch from the end. So that'd be two of them. It'd be half inch up from this edge. And they're gonna be three eighths inch in from this edge. The two holes. Let's center punch those two holes. It'd be easy just to build one of these at a time or at least show you how to mark it out and then I'll mark the other ones out off camera. And then for, this is the mount for the camera. I'm just gonna match to that radius pretty close and kind of square this in that. To me, it's not that important to have this any particular exactness, if that's a word. So just mark those holes. And this doesn't have to be, like I said, it doesn't have to be accurate. I'm going to have a clearance hole big enough to cover any slop. Okay, so I got that. And then I want to mark, I want to mark the first bend. So the first bend is going to be three and a half inches from this radius side. So we're gonna come three and a half from the radius side. We'll put a line there. And I'll square that line. This is gonna be our first bend. Just gonna mark this one for now. Okay, got that marked, that marked. I might as well punch while I'm here. I'm gonna punch, punch these holes. You can drill them out. These are just clearance holes for the screws. Just using a Whitney punch. It's a little faster than getting the drill out. But you could just drill these. Mount it to the wall, these two holes. Uh, 
Okay. That's all right. I'm going to take it over to the the um, shear and cut these edges, and then I'll take the sander and sand that that radius. So I'm going to cut this. Make a couple cuts just to make it easier to to sand it. I really don't want to take that much metal off in the sander. Okay, this is the first bend. I'm going to bend it up. So we marked this line, first bend, and I'm going to try to line that up right on the center of that post holding down on this piece of metal so it stays square to the to the machine to the, uh, the die. I'm going to form a 90. That's the first 90. Then we For the second bend, it's one inch from this edge going back towards where the camera mount's going to be. So just scribe a line, square it off. So we have a nice sharp line to look at. And this bend will bend this way towards us. So that goes against the, the die. So we'll go bend that. For bend number two, just in the bender like this. You probably can't see it, but that line, I'm going to line that up with the center of this die on the, on the bender. Make sure it's nice and flat. And bend that into a 90. And we'll go over, and we've got to mark th this to form the to form the channel for the side to go into. For this bend, it's going to come from the inside, and we're going to mark that at a half inch from this from this bend area from that bend. So it's come a half inch. We'll scribe a line. And take it over and pin that on the bender. This is the final bend, bend number three. So we'll bring it up and get it on the bend line. It's going to be a tight, kind of a tight bend for this bender. And we have our part. Now it's not 100% 90 because well, this bender just doesn't do an exact 90, so I want to put it in the vise and press it down and get it to square up. But that's what we got so far. Here's the finished product. What I do now is I got a little bit of sand I want to do where it was rough there. Sand it dot, just do a little bit more sand into it, and then be ready for some paint. So that's pretty much how to make these brackets. They're pretty easy to make. We're ready to start mounting this this camera, so I just got to unzip this section of siding. Flip this up a little easier. It's a lot easier. Okay, this bracket's going to sit. Let's say right. I'm going to put it right there. So get a couple of screws. Screw on the bottom, screw on the top, and 
I can go down there and lock that in. Okay, so th this one we're going to mount on this side of the bracket. And we'll find some screws that'll fit in there. Screws and nuts on there to secure it. And this one's gonna be tight getting in here, but I think I get my little fingers in there. I don't know. Yep, got my finger in there. Start the nut. Get the screwdriver and nut driver and we'll Tighten these down. Get this out of the way. Okay. Mount the camera. Could have probably mounted this opposite. Probably should have mounted it on the opposite side of the bracket. Now that I'm looking at it. But I can always change that pretty easy. Okay, that camera is all mounted. That's another one done. 